with the waveform, we've spoken about sawtooth waves and square waves. And if you remember, a waveform is a graph, it's a picture. It shows amplitude as a function of time. And we can use it to, for sine waves or complex waves. But when there are complex waves on the waveform, it's hard to, we cannot identify the amplitude or the frequencies and the phases of all the waves because remember a complex wave is a combination of a number of sine waves, a number of pure tone waves. So what we can do is we can identify the fundamental period or the fundamental frequency of the first wave. And if we remember that a square wave is odd harmonics and a sawtooth wave is odd and even harmonics, we can calculate the other harmonics in the series. But by just looking at a waveform, we wouldn't be able to do this. So a waveform also can't determine the amplitude and the starting phases. This is for a complex wave, right? Remember, a complex wave is a number of sine waves combined. So we use spectrums. An amplitude spectrum is a graphic alternative to the waveform. It shows amplitude as a function of frequency. So whenever you see the word spectrum, think frequency. An amplitude spectrum shows the amplitude on the y-axis as a function of frequency on the x-axis. So we have the waveform for the sawtooth and the square wave, and then we have their amplitude spectrums on the right. So from the waveforms, we can't determine the frequencies or the amplitudes or the phases, but we'll talk about phase spectrum in a few minutes. A spectrum, as you can see, is amplitude as a function of frequency. In the example of the sawtooth wave, each one of those lines on the spectrum represents one of the harmonics that compose the sawtooth wave. And if you remember with sawtooth waves, there's a fundamental frequency, and then the harmonics are odd and even integer multiples of the fundamental. So we have a fundamental at 100, then we have harmonic 2 at 200, 300, 400, 500. There's a wave at 100 hertz, a wave at 200 hertz, a wave at 300 hertz, a wave at 400 hertz, at 500 hertz. They combine to form this complex periodic wave, which is our sawtooth wave. In the example of the square wave, there are only harmonics at odd integer multiples. So there's one at 100 hertz, 300 hertz, and 500 hertz. There is an energy in between those frequencies. There's a harmonic relationship between the fundamental, there's a mathematical relationship, right? A, fundam a harmonic mathematical relationship between the fundamental and the waves that come after it. And as you can see in this spectrum, the fundamental wave has the most energy. And then each subsequent wave has less energy. And in these examples with the sawtooth wave, each subsequent, subsequent harmonic has 6 dB less energy than the one before it. Same thing with the square wave. It has 6 dB less energy than the one before it. So our fundamental frequencies are so important. They're the strongest frequency in the wave, they have the most energy. And from the fundamental, be it a sawtooth wave or a square wave, we can determine the other harmonics in the series. The amplitude spectrum 
helps us see the energy of each wave, the amplitude, as a function of frequency. So the location of each vertical line along the horizontal axis indicates the frequency and the height of each line indicates its relative amplitude. The first one has the most energy and then each subsequent harmonic has less energy than the one before it. The envelope shows the roll-off rate, so that dashed line on the spectrum shows how each subsequent wave has less energy than the one before it. And in the example of the sawtooth wave and the square wave, they decrease by a function of 6 dB. So we need the amplitude spectrums to help us figure out the strength and the frequency of the harmonics. The square wave, each harmonic decreases by 6 dB from the one before it. Same thing with the sawtooth wave. And these amplitude spectra are also called line amplitude spectra. The location indicates the frequency, the height indicates the amplitude. There is no energy where there is no line. So in the example of the sawtooth wave, there is no energy at 200 hertz. There is no energy at 400 hertz. There is only energy at 100 hertz, 300 hertz, and 500 hertz for the square wave. For the sawtooth wave, there is no energy at 150 hertz. There is just energy at 100 hertz, 200 hertz, 300 hertz etc. With our aperiodic wave, with noise, remember I said noise is a mess. There's energy everywhere. Because there's energy at every frequency and because there's energy everywhere, we have a continuous spectrum. That's what you see on the right in this amplitude spectrum, that straight horizontal line indicates energy at every frequency. So the waveform for an aperiodic wave looks like a mess. The amplitude for the aperiodic wave, the amplitude spectrum, is just a straight line. There's energy at every frequency. There's no harmonic relationship. We can't determine what's going on. And that's called a continuous spectra. Energy is present at all frequencies. There's no roll-off rate. There's an identical amount of energy at every frequency in the range.